I feel like doing something different today. I'd like to talk about how I fix Evernote templates. And of course, to do that, I have to first uh, share with you everything I think it's wrong with Evernote templates, at least what I can remember. And then I'll show you what would be the solution and how you can use that solution today as a work around. Okay, let's do it. Every time you create a new note, you see these uh, three buttons here. Uh, to-do list, which is a template, add more, meaning that you can add more templates to this list, and open gallery. If we click here, you see two tabs. Maybe you only see one. Uh, you always see this one here, templates gallery, and, and many, 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 many templates here. Or if you have created a template, I'll get there in a moment, you also see this other templates here. So let's choose this one that I have created in the past. That's great, right? But here's the first problem. Let's create a new node again. Add more. Why can't I choose from my own templates? I don't understand that. Okay, another problem. If we go to settings, Calendar, preformat notes. So if I create a note now, I'll go back to home and let's create a new note here. New note. Um, this is pretty cool, but again, this is preset. I cannot change, I cannot choose another template. And if we go back to settings, there's this new feature here. You probably don't have it there. Uh, that will also let us choose a template, but not from the main templates list, <laughs> not from our templates. So if I turn this on and click here, what I get are three presets. I cannot choose a different one. I can't even not choose. I have to choose one of them. What I'm trying to say here is the more time Evernote takes to fix this template's mass, the more new features like this will be adding to the mass. So, oh, there's another problem <laughs> that I just remember. Let, let me show you that one and then we can move to the workaround and how that workaround can be a solution to all this mess. Let's call this new template. This is a new template. Okay, there is a mistake here. That's on purpose. Now, if I want to make this a new template, all I have to do is click here and save as a template. Pretty easy, right? Let's, let's use that name. Okay, let's use that template. Note open gallery and where it is. This is another thing I forgot also happens sometime. It's not here. So if I refresh every note, it will be here. Okay, open gallery and here it is. Let's choose that template. And now I notice that there is a mistake here. I want to fix that. There's no way to do that. I have to create a new template and delete that other one. And here's another problem. There are many, many, many features that don't save uh, as a template. For example, if I use Vintage, okay, that's it, Vintage tag, and I'll add here a task. Now let's try to save that as a template. New to. New note, open gallery. Okay, here you have it. Content not supported. So as you can see here, the task has no title and there is no tag. And there are many other uh, note elements that don't work with templates. Now, what other feature on Evernote would work with 
all note elements. <laughs> Maybe a note. <laughs> so back in the day, a long time ago, when templates were not a feature, this is what we used to do on every note. We would create a notebook. And here, let's go back to notes. And for example, this one here that was supposed to be my template, I can, I don't know, call this new vintage. And let's move this to templates. So if I need to add a template to a note now, I can simply do command J and templates and go to that templates, but too many steps, right? So let's make this a shortcut. Let this notebook a shortcut. Add to shortcuts and let's move it to the top for now. Okay, now I have templates here. So let's simulate that again. I'm going to templates. Now I can see all my templates. And if I click here, I can copy this to, and let's choose, for example, YouTube, and go to that notebook. As you can see, the, the task problem is still here, but I have my tag, and believe me, there are many other features that don't work with templates that will work with this method. So it's easy to go to that to that notebook and choose it as uh, uh, and choose any note as a template. And even better, if I go back to that notebook, I can change anything here. Two, three, four. Uh, I don't know tasks. And from now on, every time I create a new copy of this, copy two. Let's choose a, a new notebook here and go to that notebook. There it is. The new edited and changed template was used on that note. So that's the workaround. But my question is, why doesn't Evernote use a notebook as a space for all the templates? It's so simple. <laughs> it was already a, a, a workaround everybody was using back then. Why create that weird space? So let us create this notebook or maybe just set a notebook as uh, make templates a uh, notebook that everybody will have. Just to be clear, none of this is Banning Spoon's fault. This mess was already here when they acquired Evernote. And uh, Banning Spoon's acquiring Evernote in my opinion, was one of the best things that ever happened to ever know. But what I would love them to do is stop adding to the mass. This is going to become a huge snowball. There are already multiple places where the templates are and they don't talk to each other. There are different templates all over the place. Creating a notebook is, I mean, setting a notebook as a template space is simple and fixes this mass. Okay, what do you think about that? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see how simple this is to take a look at this here, this is how uh, Obsidian does it. It's simple, it works. Thanks for watching. See you soon.